Hey guys, Kenneth and Skill Prime here with a Pokemon Black 2 playthrough, episode 2. So, we left off last time. We just got my Pokedex, or I just got my Pokedex. Um, you want to know what it does? It's a high tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. Carry this Pokemon, visit a lot of places, meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. Okay, that's. Neat. <laughs> okay. Oh, didn't mean to talk to you again. I think this episode I get to fight my. Oh yes, I do. That's great. I fixed the audio issues issue so that way you can actually hear me for once. Um, I'm sorry about the first episode. I did promise that this one would be better. So yeah. So he has a Snivy, I think, which is the grass Pokemon, because I got Oshawott, the water Pokemon. And grass is super effective against water, if you did not know that. FYI, just cause, it's good to tell you some of you guys who don't know the most about Pokemon. So I'll clarify anything that's, un, you know, that's a bit difficult to understand, I guess, you could say. He gets one too again. I'm Brandon. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokédex on me. Wow! <laughs> How convenient. Dude. Okay, so I think we fight. Yes, I was right. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Snivy that I raised from an egg, see? So he raised his own, nobody had to give him any. Pokemon. Oh, I'm so ugly. <laughs> okay. We both currently only have one Pokemon, so it's kind of pathetic. But that's okay. This is just to make sure that I know how to play Pokemon. Hopefully I don't lose. That would be really embarrassing. Tackle. I think... He doesn't know anything to... Oh, he's faster than me, huh? That's disappointing. Oh, and he's stronger. <laughs> uh, Ashwa's carrying... It actually tells you what item is carrying because it... As you can see, he's holding a shell. Actually, I don't know. Is he just, does he randomly just have a shell? Ooh, crit. That was good. As long as he doesn't get a crit on me. Oh. It's a done deal. I just won this game. He did lower the, my defense, but I don't think that's important because I should win this battle with that last hit. Just like that. Ba bam. Ooh, level 6 already, ho oh. ho. Um. So, by the way, Brandon does progress on his own, like, on his own side stuff. Like, we'll meet him again eventually later on in the playthrough. So this isn't the last of him, like, I'm meeting him for once and then he's leaving. Well, whatever, I'm just happy, you know, to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading off first, get stronger. He's always gonna get stronger as well. So that's all good. And Bianca, if you didn't know, Bianca was actually in the first game. So it's sort of a little teaser for those that did play the first game. Alrighty, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon to battle and get hurt. Okay. <laughs> in the first episode, I got lost and thought she was in the Pokemon Center, but it's all good now. Let's go inside. Okay. I don't know what's exciting in the Pokemon Center. Except Wi-Fi battles, which I might be able to post. Um, I'll see if I can do that. Okay, I'll show you around the Pokemon Center. For free, wow. How exciting. Thank you for healing my Oshawott. 
Oh, I love that jingle. Dun 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 dun. PC is where you get to save your Pokemon. Okay, great. Also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. And the next thing is over here. There's. Oh, yeah, we got to go upstairs. Oh, no. This is store. Okay. Pokemart. Here you can buy and sell many different items. Here, Kenneth, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Thank you so much. Now, can we finish this up? Next up, I'll show you how to use. Oh, come on. Anyway. So she's gonna show me how to use Pokeballs. Dun, dun, dun. Black screen. Okay, we're back. Wow, children. Or oh, that's a mom. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. You just met Bianca and Kenneth Pikachu. Hey, hey, looking good. And she can you give me my running shoes? Oh, I am. Oh, I'm on it today. If you didn't know, running shoes allow you to run. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Put on the running shoes and race around to your heart's content. Now you and Oshawott can run anywhere you want. Cool. That's neat. It's probably going to give me a... Yes, I was right. It was a map. Of course, I didn't say it out loud because I didn't have time. Why are there two town maps? I want you to give the other one to my big brother. Oh, well, okay. So obviously that proves that I'll be seeing him once more. We're heading to Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Okay, let's go then. Do do. Oh, come on, just go. I know how to run already. You don't have to teach me. I think I know how to run. No, is this to run? Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> this is how to run, okay. <clears throat> hey, Kenneth. You can't go without... Oh? You're with Oshawa. Okay, this is a going away gift. Don't be shy. Take it. Thank you for the potion. Oh, I didn't mean not... I did not... I did not mean to say hi twice. I'm going to show you guys the town map so that way you guys can understand how large this game is. It's not too large, but it is, it is what it is. Actually, I'll mark this. So that way I can click. I'll show you. So we are in Route 19 here, and we're going to try and go along this map, yada, yada, yada. Eventually, until we... Ooh, Pokemon League. So this is the Pokemon League. The game does go farther. I know you get the battle Misty and stuff. And Brock from the first game. Which is all good. But anyway. Let's head out. And meet Bianca, which is... Standing right in front of me. Hey, this way. This kind of reminds me of that day on Route 1. Okay, here's how... Oh, see... They're relating it to the first game, which is good. I like it when they do that, because it sort of gives me the inside scoop, I guess. Here, I'll show you how to catch a Pokemon, starting now. Well, thank you. It's not like I already know or anything. Sorry, the intro this this video might take up most of it. I mean, this little section might take up most of it. Just because this little beginning part does take a while. So, do not blame me. Blame the game. She's going to teach me, isn't she? So, she's going to lower his health down to orange. Use the Pokeball and capture Purloin. Purloin. I can almost immediately guess that. Or red. Actually, red is ideal, but orange is sufficient. Ooh. Okay, well, okay, I can click X. <laughs> I mean, I can click. Okay, now she's gonna catch. 
Sorry, that's not the game lagging, that's just me forgetting to speed up the... The, um... Text, that's what it's called. Oh, wow! <laughs> she caught up Purloin! Gotcha! Purloin was caught! That music is so satisfying. Okay, I think it's my turn or something. What a relief, I caught a Pokemon. Oh, um, right. I'll go over the important stuff. First, go find a healthy Pokemon to catch. You need to remember this next bit. It's best to lower the Pokemon's HP, health points, hit points. I don't know which one. Before you try to catch it, use your Pokemon's moves to lower the HP of the Pokemon you want to catch. Making it fall asleep or paralyzing it will make it even easier to catch. You're going to go deliver the town map? Yes, I will. Okay. At least they tell me where to go. Huh. <laughs> Pokemon 3D, I got lost. That's why I haven't finished the playthrough because I don't know where to go. And I assume this is much more fun. I'm gonna see if I catch something nicer so I can show you guys my skills, I guess. Oh, never mind. If I'm all, if all I'm gonna see is a pat rat, I don't think it's worth it. Tackle. Oh, how much damage is it going to It's going to do four on average, meaning if he does a crit, it doubles up the attack, making it eight. This should be a finishing move. Oh yes. Oh, I just got a I learned water gun. How great. Oh, come on. Another pad red, I bet. Great. <laughs> when this does start reaching the 15 minute mark, I'll most likely just skip to when I arrive at the town. I'll pause it there and then start recording the next episode, I guess. Um, I think that would be the most ideal scenario. Because I don't think you guys want to see me running through grass this entire time. I mean, I hope that's okay with you guys. I know most people do skip certain parts in a playthrough just because this game is about 40 hours to complete. Um, I will not be playing the entire game. I think this will just end up being a Road to the Elite 4. And if you guys really super duper like it, then I will do more. Like fighting Brock and fighting Misty. Tackle. Why is the music so slowed down? I expected it to be. Ha! Huh, guess they changed the music. Okay. I'm gonna try and step into as little grass as I can. I wonder if she's a trainer. Oh no, she's not. But I do not want to talk. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is getting kind of annoying. A purloin. <coughs> How great. I see if a water gun can finish it. Neener, neener. Bump, bump, bump. Crit, please. Thank you. Okay, so this was the video. It's starting to come to a close because it's like the 14 minute mark, I think. So, I'm just going to skip right through this part, get to the town, show you guys all the fun stuff. So, expect the next video to come out next week, I think. So, this was the video. Hope you guys like it. If you want to see more, leave it down in the comments below. Anyway, this was Kenneth. See you guys next time.